And this is my poem entitled, Mio. I never look in the mirror if I can help it. The face staring back at me has no beauty, no features worth mentioning. My long brown hair that must be pulled into a ponytail, or the entire world just feels off. My too white skin that has branded me a ghost, and the freckles that seem to multiply when I want to disappear, but hide when I want to be unique. The eyebrows that would be plucked to perfection if I hadn't given up. Full body mirrors are even worse because the list of things I would change about myself seems to multiply. My figureless body that isn't the preferred hourglass, but more like the straightness of a pencil, like the one I used to write down everything I would change. The body rolls that no one has seen, but that make me fear the freshman 15 more than anything. And the long thin toes that gave me the nickname monkey toes. And the reason I no longer wear flip-flops. They say any press is good press, but no one tells you that when you're neither gorgeous nor what society deems unattractive, you become a chameleon, forced to hide in the middle. I can't decide what's worse, the plainness on the outside or the pain on the inside. My brain is a mess of depression and anxiety. It's the same brain that tells me that dying alone isn't only a possibility, but my future. That it's amazing I have friends at all. So why do I think anyone could ever cure my loneliness? I spend hours in my room trying to figure out how long this poison has controlled me. Has it been months or years? The more I think about it, the more I realize it could have been at least a decade. When people tell me, ask me why I don't talk to them, the answer is simple. I can't explain what's going on in my mind to myself. So how could I explain it to you? They say pain is relative, but if that were true, why would people make me feel so bad for the things that I feel? Like because to them my life seems easy, I can't be struggling. Everywhere you see stories of people who fought depression, those who won their battles and those who didn't. But no one tells you what weapons you should have in your arsenal. This isn't a fairy tale. This is my life. There's no magic mirror on the wall telling me how beautiful I am on the inside and the out. It's just me. I don't know. Maybe one day things will get better. But even I can't promise that. And until that day, I'll continue to ever avoid looking in the mirror.